Welcome, welcome to Target Lock TV and round two of the Swedish Open. Um, we have two very interesting lists in front of us. And by my side, I have Sverre Backgilly. Welcome, Sverre. Thank you. Thank you for having me again. This is your second game today. It is. <laughs> and I can think of no better way to spend a uh, Saturday morning. Thank you. I'm very pleased to have you on as my guest. Uh, today we have David Sandberg from Gothenburg, Sweden, a local player from me. And we also have Juan Pablo Gonzalez, which is not local to me. He is playing from Chile. How impressive is that? You're sitting at the other side of the world, probably at midnight or whatever, and playing <laughs> Swedish x wing it's quite amazing, actually. Let's see here. As the players are setting up... Maybe we should start with going through their lists. Absolutely. We can start with the red player, which... Uh, David here. Yep. He's got one of those um, little mini swarms. He's got four Saber Squadrons. Uh, the Interceptors with their uh, auto thruster ability that allows them to, uh, to do an action and then reposition. Quite strong chassis in hyperspace, and then they're backed up by a major or male, who, as you know, when he performs an attack, if the defender does not have any green tokens, he can then change one of his blank or focus results to a hit, making him that much more offensive. And as we saw last game, Emperor Palpatine is making an appearance. Mm -hmm. uh, Palpatine is the backup that allows you to use that force token on any ship, um, regardless of range. And then Juan Pablo, he's got a interesting uh, separatist list. He's got uh, General Grievous, strong strong ship in any regard with uh, Imperium plating that gives him extra hold points and then allows him to uh, discard two uh, ship damage card. It doesn't give him hull upgrade, that is the soulless one. So those two cards together makes him really difficult to kill. Mm -hmm. And then you have Sunfec, which I haven't seen around for a while. In hyperspace, it's not as, you know, bad as he is in, uh, in Extended, <laughs> but it's still a really strong piece if you can leverage him. He has Predator, not in Snare, and uh, you all know the Nantex and their movement hijinks that allows them to reposition regardless if they bump or not. Yes. And uh, Django Fett in the final ship. Django's ability is that if he moves at a lower uh, difficulty than the opposing ship, that the opposing ship uh, must change one uh, focus control to a blank in offense and defense. Yes, yes. Um, Dooku, that allows uh, Django, the Django player, to dictate a dice roll uh, on range 0 to 2, both friendly and enemy, which is important to remember for those bomb throws or going over rocks, what have you. Thermal detonators, which is one of the best and cheapest bombs you can have these days and hull upgrades to make him a little bit more survivable. So what we have here is, is really a semi-ace list and facing up against low initiative, high agility, high attack output um, Imperial list. Mm. Should be fun, should be a good game. Yeah. David is known here as a player who is uh quite innovative with his lists and uh, he's usually playing uh, ships that aren't seeing that much exposure otherwise but let's see how he handles um, his saber squadron aces yeah even though it's it's not like the most innovative list it is strong it's reliable and those ships can really deal out a lot of damage uh, if flown right. So my money is is really on swarms these days, as I've talked about a couple of times on the on your stream here. Mm -hmm. I think the effectiveness of, of these ships are really good. But then again, uh, both Grievous and Django are, are really strong uh, ships that can they can take a lot and, and dish out a lot. And then we'll see how Sunfec plays in, in hyperspace. Yeah. First round is away. And now we're planning on the second. So it's 
seems the strategy that David has chosen is to flank with a couple of his ships and then maybe um, use the remainder of his list as more of a hammer-like thing towards the middle. Mm -hmm. uh, I think we're going to see where Mail is doing a, um, a one bank on the... Um, what should I call it? The um, ale round move and then a hard one or one bank in towards the center. And then maybe his, his other ships are backing up and the two leftmost uh, interceptors might just speed along trying to get behind the rest of the, the list from uh, Johan Pablo. Yeah. And of course, the fire spray being the chest is that it is, it doesn't really need all the bells and whistles no. that we saw on, on Boba Fett to be dangerous. But now the Separatists still have the crew slot on their fire spray. So yeah. seeing them with with uh, other, what was it called? Chancellor Palpatine, not Emperor Palpatine. And Dooku is seemed the staple of yeah. uh, getting them out. Here's David turning in towards the center. You think he will go through the debris the uh, of the yeah. obstacles? Yeah, he is. Yeah, he's moving in. Which isn't bad, though, because if he can catch Sunfack at range 2, yeah. then, then so he should be get some good shots, so that's overlapping. Dice in the dice box. Get re rolled, so. Good Lucky for, for David. No strain. Then we'll see a hard two on the brown, I think, and a two bank on his green interceptor. There we go. Some fact is running away. Grievous is. Yeah, Grievous is not having any of that. He's taking a longer run. Grievous is an excellent flanker due to his native ability. Mm. He wants to come in from the side to get those rerolls. Target lock on Brown. Sunfack is running. Yeah, he, he really didn't want to get into that center there and oh. the kill box. But at the same time, I think David is now, depending on that that fire exchange between Django and uh, and Brown, in the better position to block and get follow up shots. Mm -hmm. But we all know interceptors they can pop, so might well see one being PS killed. That's the strength of Juan Pablo's list. Yeah, let's see. This is a shot on Brown, range two. Good start. Back. Two hits. Easily evaded. Yep. So Django had a blue maneuver and the brown one had a white. So that means the Django stability is in play. Mm. Two focus results and one hit. Target lock for reroll. And it's two hits in total. So Django will now be allowed to change one focus into a uh, a blank. Yeah. If he wanted to, it doesn't really matter. Brown is spending his focus, so he will evade all those results. Which is smart. You want to keep your, your low agility ships alive. I mean, the chances are you can always mm. punch in something if you're not getting shot anymore. So spending that focus on defense is the rule of thumb. Hit crit shot into Sunfak, range 3.
I mean, this could be, <laughs> this could be it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we could. I mean, that's oh, too late. Okay. That's why every time you fly aces like Fenrao or Sunfeck or stuff like that, you, you get that clench moment when you mm. when you see your opponent rolling two or three hits. It makes you feel alive. Probably just shoot into Django. Oh. Jenga's ability doesn't really matter since you don't have mods anyway. Hit crit. Suspend Dooku to ensure you get one. I think you saved Dooku. Yeah. Yeah. Wouldn't have mattered. Takes a shield. Now, over Mail's ability comes into play since Django doesn't have any green tokens. Mm -hmm. So we can then change one of his focus results into a hit. Mm. No real danger. <clears throat> Alright, so yeah, Dango uses his ability to change one, then Vermeil can spend his ability and Palpatine to change it to its. Yeah. And another yeah. shield. Yeah. Yeah, that's unlucky though. Normally, I think statistically, you'd, you'd get one focus result to save that, uh, to use the, use the force, the Duke force on. Alright, good round for David. Indeed. He's in a good position. He's got potential to get more guns on Django if Django turns in. Grievous is still out of the game for a, a round or two. Do it too hard in a boost, probably. Sunfek could do an aggressive move, turning in towards the center. Hard one, get behind the cloud for those uh, two interceptors on the left. Yeah. Green's probably gonna do a hard one in. Brown's probably gonna do a two bank or something to block Django, and Vermeil's just doing a one bank towards Django. That's my prediction, mm -hmm. and I'm it sticking sounds, with it. <laughs> sounds like a good prediction, actually. We'll see. I should yeah, also that's... take the time to mention that we have uh, had some sponsorships. Uh, we have some prizes that we we're going to raffle out by, uh, by to our players after the, the Swiss rounds today. And the prizes are pro provided by Alora Games in Trollhättan here in Sweden. And while you're watching this, you should have a look in the show notes. So I got some links to our streaming friends, uh, our guests that will be here commentating today, and so our partners who's been helping us out with some prizes stuff today. That is good. Always good to have sponsors. And I think you've done a, a bang on job so far, uh, Simon, of arranging this event and getting the prices <laughs> and, and having raffles and everything like that. I know you're you're sweating already after just one game, but by game four you'll uh, <laughs> you'll be relaxed. I'm sure. Of it. Thank you. <laughs> it's hard to please everyone. <laughs> yeah, no, you shouldn't even try that. Please yourself. That's it. Well, I promised my wife to take a one week off X Wing. <laughs> after this <laughs> yeah yeah i can i can imagine she's she's not too happy about the time you spent so far timo quadruple seven this is round two of the swedish open online x-wing tournament thank you jason prince
Yeah, here we go. David is turning in with Brown. Turning in a little bit harder than I expected. And boosts. Yeah, that's. I think he'd be better off just standing there. Yeah, but I think he's he's uh, his plan is to block Django. Yeah, which will work if Django goes that way. If yeah, not then. If he's going the other way, it, it will not work. <laughs> Uh, that's unfortunate landing on the uh, the cloud there, mm -hmm. but it happens. It's it's hard sometimes. The hard yeah. one is it's tricky to judge. And these uh, saber squadrons, they are expendable. They are indeed. Yep. Focus and barrel one way or the other. Behind Vermel, perhaps. No, just staying there. All right, spreading his arc a little bit, getting a, a wide field of fire, which isn't yeah. bad. Beavis is turning in. Yep, needs to be relevant. So what does Django do? Hard one, okay. Ooh, he clears that. Yeah, I guess he predicted that block coming. Target lock and green. Yeah, makes sense. Oh, nice, nice. Uh, yeah. Sunfax running. You probably take a uh, tractor token here and the barrel. Yeah, I don't know. That might put him a little bit too too far out towards the at the edge. I think you're just gonna stay put. See, I think uh, Davis got arc on him. That's a problem. Yeah, but yeah, he probably does. But if something can strip his focus now, <clears throat> it'll be done. So three versus three, both yep. through focus. Oh, don't spend it. Nope. It's always so tempting to to spend the focus <laughs> just to get some hits in, but that would be a trap. So target lock shot going into um, into green with one less defense <clears> time. <throat> Range two. Duku a crit perhaps. Or not. Saving that for defense. Yeah, oh, shit. Yeah, you really don't need to Duku. Yeah, it needs it. Hit, hit, so crit. Guaranteed crit. And that's a dead ship. Wow. Oh, yeah. Boom. That's how fast it goes. Hammer and anvil. Mm. I see Gisli is in the chat. Thank you for the shout out. And the podcast yesterday, a lot of latecomers, <laughs> and welcome to the stream. Does Iceland have any players? Iceland's got event? three players. Uh, yeah. I'm always impressed with Iceland. They have a pretty, I mean, they're not the biggest of countries, and I don't know how big their community is, but they seem to be partaking in a lot of tournaments, and I met a couple of them when we were doing real life tournaments as well, and they're always they're good players. Mm. It's a strong, strong community up there. Well, if this uh, interceptor can uh, can kill Sunfek, you know, that would be good. That would uh, mitigate the uh, the loss of the green. Mm. Let's focus into three hits. That's one. Next one. Yeah. What 
David really needs to be careful of now is not to overstretch because now he has the brown interceptor just on his own. Mm. And that's going to be really easy to pick him out if he wants to. Red shooting into... I think Django would be... Django is obstructed. Yep. Yeah, but he hasn't got any other mods. Nope. No, you shoot into Django because yellow and, and Vermeil can do the same. Oh. And he did a one turn, did he? Yeah, so that's a white maneuver. So no Django shenanigans. So that is into Grims. Let's see, I just had Yep. In the shot into Grievous, spreading his shots. Yeah, Grievous is losing one shield. Yeah. I gotta admit, I don't like that. I think I think concentrating fire on Django would be better to get to get him down to half points. Spreading fire is a short, <coughs> short fire way to to uh, to lose a game. So this is one hit, Django, which is evaded. <coughs> Tango range two. Yeah. Using his ability to get hit hit crit. Django with no mods. Take at least one. Yep. Ooh, or takes, all three of them. Yeah. And that's one crit? That is one crit going through. And again, it goes to show that the concentration of fire. I mean, Red might have gotten hit into Django as well. And it's Stun Pilot. The most common <laughs> crit in the game, I think. <laughs> we were talking about this on, in the last game. <laughs> yeah, that's Stun Pilot. And, uh, So this is Grievous, who forgot to fire earlier. On target lock, yeah. Or using his ability shooting to oh, yellow, yeah, the I guess. Ability. Yeah. yeah. Evaded. So it gets it, yeah. Probably should have done a little rollback there, uh, but as it turned out. No need. All right, so actually, well, the uh, in interceptors are uh, aces. So they oh, are they? Ah, yeah. oh, my bad. Thanks. Thanks no, for clarifying no, no. that. Yeah, this You're is right. uh, Mikael that you're, he's helping us out with the stream today and doing some producing stuff. He's keeping and track he's, of the scores. And he's, he's also the, the one who knows what's going on. Yeah. We, we don't, yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Enigma Wargaming. <laughs> Is it allowed to plug Enigma Wargaming? They, sure. J Jason, Jason does all my painting um, for, for all the ships that I have, and they are just beautiful. And I think I think most people know about Enigma Gaming, but the the service and and the the quality you get from his work is just outstanding. You you can censor me for that, but yeah, I had to give that shout out. I will not censor that. I think Enigma Wargaming is. Uh... Having a partnership with Cogo 2 now? Am I wrong? No, I think you're right. And or Cog Cogo 2 or... Yeah, both Cogo 2 and I think he's got some other stuff. But I think, yeah, Cogo 2. Cogo 2 is helping us with uh, the <clears throat> top uh, prizes in this tournament. Nice. The nice looking templates and template trays. And our fabulously looking... Swedish open and Swedish closed S foils <laughs> <laughs> tokens.
All right, so what do you think? Obviously, Sunfeck is kind of <coughs> locked, so David could go all in for him, but I think right now, gunning for Django is has got to be tempting. For him. Yeah. Well, Django Brown... is still not half. Django is still not half. He's got one yep. more point, I guess. Brown uh, Interceptor is uh, stressed, so he can't K turn. Uh, he probably put himself trying to block uh, Sunfac. And we see a thermal detonator here. Will it be one or will it be two? It will be two. Go two. Yep. Taking the long way around. Yeah, predicted that. That's a good move. They are they're so maneuverable, these uh, the ships. You wouldn't believe by <coughs> looking at them. But that adaptive aileron, for those who know what they're doing with it, is really a boon. Okay. Wrong way, yep. <laughs> I think that was a bit bit daring. <laughs> this will allow um, Grievous to really move in if he wants to. But, yeah, yeah, but do you think David, uh, David's going that. for the block? Yeah, he predicted that. That's good play by David. Now he'll get shots on Django, no matter which way he does go, so... Clearing the stress. He's gotta expect uh, Sunfake to come in behind him, so... Sure. Rolling out. Uh, Sunfake has his uh, turret to the side, which will allow him to... Grievous is blowing past that. Yep. Boost focus. Going for yellow interceptor. I like that move. There's the hard one. Barrel. Now he, he barrel in, get the bullseye yeah. shot into brown. Tractor. No tractor. No. Hmm. <clears throat> Jungle boost. Get red. Or just stay there to fire at brown in case uh, Sunfake doesn't, doesn't kill him. I just stay, take a focus. Yeah. Target lock. Right. Being aggressive, that also works. <laughs> I don't know about that. You think he's got arc? Setting himself up for the next round, I guess, but. I think I would again focus my fire on Brown, try to get him out of the game, and then. The rest. Of course, if he can take one more interested route now without losing anything, then Juan Pablo's in a really good spot. Yeah. So Django is going for red with target lock. Hit and crit. Spend target lock. Or nothing. Yeah. Red should be fine. Red is fine. Mm. I can see triple evades and one reroll. Nothing. Gone on with those uh, thermal detonators. Yeah. Well played. All those triggers. <clears throat> 
So this is a range 3 shot from red into Django. Spends the focus for 3. 2 I guess? 2, sorry. Yep. It's already been a long day. <laughs> yeah, as I, as I said, we're going to be like in game 6. <laughs> and Django's all good. Yeah. Actually, at game six, we got Max Brook coming to help me uh, commentate in the stream. That is so awesome. So if you got any uh, awesome questions for Max, you can uh, save them and put them in the chat later on. So this is one hit from Vermeil into Sunfak. It's evaded by one evade. You know what? When I started uh, watching X Wing streams, let's see, I'll, I'll just wait until Grievous is shot. Two hits. Oh, there you go. And uh, focus for a three hit attack. No mods. <gasps> Bends the force from Palpatine. Yeah, and survives. Yep. Taking two. Yeah, that's dangerous. It is. And yeah, obviously, as I see in the, the chat there, um, since the Sunfake didn't change his direction on the... Uh, turret. On the turret there, he can fire. So... Didn't want to risk it. No. Being patient. Being prudent. Yeah, as I said uh, earlier, when I was wa starting watching uh, X-Wing streams, I was yeah. <laughs> I found the, uh, a German channel called uh, Admiral Thrawn. I see. I think it was mm -hmm. Thrawn. Have you seen that? No, I have not. It was just so good. They were trying out new lists and uh, had some quite aggressive music going on. And uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> German style. <laughs> yeah. And they had, uh, uh, while they were commentating, uh, that guy, uh, he emphasized on the uh, word evaded, which mm -hmm. was just, yeah. Those streams were really, really good. Or uh, videos. Nice. You, you should check them out. They're I will. Still up there. Admiral Thrawn. I'll, I'll, I'll look into it. I love well, a good stream. I, it could be just Thrawn. It's uh, 1.0, but it's it's still good to watch. And they painted the bases in vibrant colors and just uh, uh, very efficient. Yeah. There's so many good resources out there and, and so many people doing a lot for the community and, and <laughs> sharing what they're they love the hobby, which yeah. is really inspiring in so many ways, be it either list choices or, or streaming. All right, so we're moving again. Red going in. Just not committing to anything. Being able to shoot if Django goes fast. Jamming from Vermeil on Sunfank. Yeah, if if uh, Thrawn is uh, watching this stream, uh, we are still waiting for new material. <laughs> he, he will reposition here and a probably, probably a boost focus. And Grievous is just really in a good place right now to harass uh, David. Yeah, he is where he wants to be. Ooh. Good prediction by David there. Yep. Getting the boost. He's not afraid of taking a couple of shots. Sun effect moving in. And this time he will get to shoot. Yes. Jams away the focus, leaving him a bit vulnerable. 
but then again, yellow is only on one hole left, so this could hurt for uh, David. Yeah. Yellow is shooting before Grievous, or they're at the same initiative at least. Yeah, that is true. So he will not have focused shot. Oh. Oh. That's what uh, one Pablo wanted to see. That's guaranteed crit going through. Two hits, two crits. And duking in blank. Yeah. Which was clever. Uh, you should... Uh, no, you should... Uh, yeah. Take the, the eyeball and save your focus. Yeah. <laughs> So two crits that could be um <laughs> that could hurt. Oh that's a direct hit. Oh well, well, well alright. And a few leak. <laughs> Red's gone, I'm afraid. Yep. And Strong chances shots. are you'll you'll get yellow as well. Yeah. And if you do, then it's really, really hard to see any way that David can come back. Yeah. But stranger things have happened. So, will he take the range one bullseye shot here? Yes. Yeah, he's gotta. He's gotta. Oh. <laughs> oh. Dies. Oh, Juan Pablo. Doing his work. And he takes one hit, one crit. Yeah. He and might I rip it. That's a direct hit. Oh man. Oh, that hurts. Oh. Ooh. That is just brutal. That is so brutal. This could be a quick game. Yep. So this okay. is into Sunfac, three hits. If there's any justice in the universe that Sunfac dies here, just for just for the rolls, he said. Oh, oh no, no, oh, oh wow. That Who is some major variance towards <laughs> uh, one pub this round. Who needs mods? Yeah, who cares? Neil is in the dark. One hull interceptor. And wow. Spends that focus for three hits. Wow. And takes one, which is enough. And dies. Yeah. Oh, that's <laughs> a shame. That is yeah. a shame. I think I think David's mistake here was spreading out his uh, his ships too much. When you fly something like this against aces like that, you need to to keep them together to get focus fire and, and having any hopes of taking one of his ships out. Yeah. Once you start spreading out like this, and of course this this round was seriously variants towards Juan Pablo, but that that will happen, and yeah. these ships will blank out. So that was rough. We got 40 minutes left on the clock. David, David's only got Vermeer left, but he still has got the the Emperor Palpatine. <laughs> yeah. Well, I think there's only so much Emperor Palpatine can do in this situation here. <laughs> and now he's got both Sunfag and Grievous behind Vermeil. Um, Vermeil can, of course, sloop around, mm -hmm. which I think he has to do to try to get some some lucky shots in. Yeah. yeah. But there's no point for one Pablo to try to run. I mean, he just setting up the attacks, taking taking a hit or two in, and then just get Vermeil out of the game eventually. Return. The 
one turn for Yango. Yeah, I'm gonna boost forward with a hard one, hard two in next round. <clears throat> male being stressed, so there's not much he can do. Yeah. I mean, yeah, if you can kill something real quick and then... Nope. nope. Oops. Oh, hey, there you go. Gets a reroll from the... Uh, the Is it the Solus one? Yeah, yeah. The Solus one upgrade. So that's... Not quite a half point on Grievous, but getting there. <clears throat> Can you imagine the miracle if Vermeil turns this round <laughs> and wins? <laughs> that would be an epic uh, stream at oh, least. Oh, it would, it would. <laughs> rooting, for, rooting for David now. into Sunfag, 4 into Grievous. Well, I guess it is, it is possible. Yeah. Well, 100, 148 points. But yeah, using jam on, on Remail is going to be... Yep, there you go. Good. <laughs> there Let's we go. go. Well played, Enigma Wargaming. <laughs> Pulling that jam. Boost. Focus boost. Can't focus. Oh. Why wouldn't you boost? I don't know. <clears throat> Alright, so white maneuvers on both, or a Django, so no Django shenanigans. Mm -hmm. And Vermeil had a blue, so we'll see. Spends uh, Dooku for uh, two hits. Oh, yeah. Two evades. I'm telling you. It's, it's gonna happen. Yeah. <laughs> It's gonna. It's gonna end. turn this around. <laughs> oh, that'd be epic. Without taking any damage. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And no shots from uh, from Sunfake here. <sighs> well, flips it for three. There you go. There you go. And if, if that is... Double. He well, still gets to shoot. He still, yeah, he still gets to, to cancel a ship crit. So he can't really die now, but... Wow. Direct hit. <laughs> oh, that's annoying. That is annoying. He spends one charge on the soulless one. Yeah, it still has two oh, left. Um, in premium plating. Yeah. Yeah, that's uh, improvement plating is it's such a, a good upgrade. Um, on Grievous there, Grievous shoots Oof. back. Oof, yeah. <laughs> Tough dies. Wow! All right, oh, still. So that's still. two shields. Yeah, but it's not bad. I mean, he can he can flip around now. <laughs> he still has to do his uh, his uh, depth of run move, but he'll flip around, get some shots in. Yeah, I can just bump a straight forward or something with that. Yeah, yeah. Having a look if so, bumping and doing the sloop. 
do have a few wins already registered. You mean there's other players who've done done a game quicker than this? Yes, Bartosz oh. uh, won his second game. Oh, I like Bartosz's this. Their second game. We have um, Phil Pond has won his game. Julian Hood, England is going strong. Uh, yep. Yeah, he beat one of my uh, one of my friends in game one, so I'm not rooting for him at all. <laughs> <laughs> Julian is a good guy. He uh, he actually attended my uh, Jang Tank uh, tournament here uh, in the fall. Yeah. So yes. three hits from uh, Django. Yep. Oh, there you go. There you go. Spend it. Oh yeah. Now he uses his. Uh, yeah. So uh, Django ability there. Takes two. Oh, he can still. He can still turn this around. <laughs> Easy. It's just a flesh wound. Yeah, yeah. I mean, watch him kill Grievous now. Oh. There you go. Yep. So strong that ability to be able to modify that dice and blanks out. <laughs> yes, he does. Yes, he does. he's dead. Yeah. Oh, now, now it's just Easy Street from here. Wow, we're male. You gotta love it. Well, that's one right. hit. It's evaded. Wow. <laughs> I mean, I still, I still don't believe it's gonna happen, but it, it shows how you can never in X-wing ever take anything for granted. Even though if you're down on points, you're down on everything. That yeah, you just need a little bit of luck, a little bit of, a little bit of skill, and 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 you'll get there. What do you think here? I think David's gonna go for a block on Django if he can. Yeah. Try to have a shot at some fact. Yeah, he probably should. Um, I don't remember which moves are blue on uh, on Vermeil here, but... Let's have a look at the dial. Uh, it's uh, one, two, and three straightforward. And one bank. Ooh, well, you're right. He's going going hard in there. That's, that's blue maneuver, so clears the stress. And takes, his, takes uh, a uh, strain. If I were Juan Pablo, I would move like he does now, try to get Django in towards the center to be able to shoot uh, Vermeil with, with uh, the rear arc and then not being blocked for the future. Yeah. So, by rolling out of arc. Which is a safe move. Ooh. But he, he can't, yeah. Uh, he can boost up. He'll boost either forward, do one for, just straight boost. Yeah. That's a shame. The shot from Django here. Half an hour left. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Target lock. And the target lock, yeah. Oh, hit, crit, crit, crit. Damn it, dice gods. <laughs> and that's it. That's a good game. Well. No, oh, I could have done it. It was fun yeah. though, and, and kudos to David for not giving up. Yeah. He played well, yeah. Very well. There's a hull breach there as well. Yeah. Weapons failures and all the shenanigans. Well, yeah. thank you, uh, David, and thank you, Juan Pablo Gonzalez. Uh, congratulations. 
And thank you, uh, Sverre, for hanging out with me, commentating these games. You made me feel really good about this and kept uh, kept me co cool and calm. It has been my pleasure, Simon, and I wish you luck for the rest of the tournament. And uh, I look forward to commentating with you uh, again at a later time. And good yeah. luck to all the players, and thanks to all the viewers. Thank you. And up next, we will have uh, round three. And we will also have uh, Daniel Bauer, Daniel Bauer from Germany, helping me with the commentating bit. Until then, over and out.